What's up guys, I'm Andrew the Squid Montanez and this is MMA Surge. On this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a judo throw. Judo is a Japanese martial arts that consists of takedowns and throws. The one we will go over today is called the Osato Gari. So let's take a look at the move. So first thing before we do this move, we want to establish our stance. Our stance and our position in this is an under over position. I'm going to have an under hook on one side and an over hook on the other side, while he has an under hook on one side and an over hook on the other side. For me to get my under hook, I'm going to go right hand into his left arm pit and I'm going to come here and grab onto his shoulder. Now I have my under hook. Now for my over hook, I'm just going to grab over and grab him on the back of his tricep. So you see, one under, one over, and he has the exact same thing going on. Now I have this position, I want to set him up for this move. I want to get him to take a step with this right leg. Step one, I'm going to pull him back and get him to step. When a guy steps like this, I'm pretty much ready to hit this move. Now what I'm going to do is, my right leg is going to come across the inside, across the middle, and up. At the same time, I'm going to lean back on my heels and drop my head back. This is going to generate power for me and give me some momentum to make this throw really work. So his foot is stepped. My leg goes across, still keeping the under over position. When I'm ready, I'm going to slice my leg back, hooking onto the back of his right leg. And as I hook it, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to set it up in the air as I throw my right hand down. So let me demonstrate that. I step across, hook, boom, and I hook him. And you notice how my right shoulder stayed connected to him. He driving my shoulder right here controls his center and it forces him to be stuck to the mat and it keeps me in this really good position and when I do hit the mat I still have this under over position I still use this to my advantage I'll show it one more time so step one under over position we got this under over position 50 50 we both have a chance to hit this move step two I'm gonna get on the step get this front leg to come across step three I'm gonna step across and this is where I'm fully committed to this move. Now I step across, hook, leg comes up, I'm gonna throw him down. Just like that. I maintain my position. This is MMA. I have all sorts of strikes. I can move off to different submissions, move off to different positions. Now that we learned the Osato Gari, we're gonna do a little variation. We're gonna get back in our under over position. He's gonna be set up with his leg across here. So I'm going to go to hit this throw like I would always go to hit it, but he moves his leg away. He moves his leg away and both of us are stuck with our hips out, still in this under over position. I'm going to take advantage of his hips being far away. What this does is it will set me up for an arm spin. For me to make this arm spin work, I'm going to keep this uh, left overhook rather tight and I'm going to release my right hand from the underhook and bring it underneath and grab a hold of his right tricep still leaning right here. Once I have this, I'm basically ready to hit my arm spin. So I'm gonna jump, and as you see, he's already almost going over and I haven't done anything. I'm gonna grab him here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put my head to the mat, and his arm would be here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my shoulder down to the mat. What that's gonna do is that's gonna send him flying over me. So I'll jump down, I drop, and he should go directly over the top. So, here, boom, steps the leg across. I bring my hand out, and once my hand is out, you can kind of make this one motion, bring him over the top, and he goes down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump both of my legs to the right and try to end up in side control. Just like that. I have a really good chance of getting mount here. So you do one jump, Two jump, sit up, and you have mount. What's great about this is you go from a failed throw to a really dominant position, somewhere where you started at 50-50 and got into probably the best position you can have in that. Let me show you this in full speed now. Locked up with me, I'm in over position, full step, boom, driving down, get my position. Maybe he, Maybe he defends it. All 
All right, guys, let me give you a quick little recap of what we just learned because it's a lot. First thing you do is you want to establish your under over position. You're pretty much in a 50 50 position, ready to work. So when you're there, work your stance, have, have a good base, get him to step. You're gonna, take, you're gonna step across with your right leg. And it's, it's good to practice by yourself. Step across with your right leg while keeping the underhook, scoop, and throw down. If done properly, I won't even have to go to the ground and I will finish like that. Second one, when you miss the throw, take your right arm out, get the underhook, jump under, turn, and throw. If you practice this a lot, you'll get a ton of success with it. You'll find that you won't have to play within the guard at all and you can just start working from these superior positions. Once you nail that move, you'll be able to submit anyone. So check out our website at MMASurge.com. Be sure to sign up for our email list and I'll send you 10 of my exclusive moves. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. No, you gotta keep your hands up. Oh, hey guys. So check out MMASurge.com for all the tips you need to be a better fighter. <laughs> <laughs>